um, in a little triangle formed by Sevilla, Moron, and Jerez. And um, I think it's the most amazing music in the world. I mean, it's just, it, it mixes, especially for the guitar, but I think attracted me to it. Like in the blues, you have incredible passion, but it's slight simplicity. It's, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> but, and in classical guitar, you have a lot of technical complexity, but it's a little bit cold. Whereas flamenco even has a classical influence, it has all these influences. So the guitar, I think, is very, very uh, challenging. It, it takes the guitar to its limits, but it stays very, very much from the heart and from the more than from the mind. And um, my time in Spain was actually a big inspiration for LAFCO because I learned there that art doesn't have to be something that you do for money or for with some ambition in mind. A lot of the gypsies just do it for the pure pleasure of it. And a lot of the greatest players call themselves dilettantes or amateurs. And here, that's, those are bad words. But we forget in this country a lot that dilettante comes from the word delight and amateur comes from amare, to love. And some of the greatest flamenco players have refused to record, have refused to perform, because the greatest flamenco happens in an intimate space and it's born spontaneously. You don't like to ask a person, you know, will you play for me or will you sing for me? Uh, it has to come spontaneously. And um, the last thing I want to say. Oh yes, um, people ask, is it like, is it improvisation or is it set pieces? Well, it's kind of both and neither. Uh, well, flamenco is a family of different song forms, and each one has its own structure and its own rhythm and uh, melodies. And originally, the guitar just accompanied the singing and the dancing, uh, and it was just purely rhythmic. Then one day, a flamenco guitar player went home, probably about 80 or 100 years ago, and said, maybe I can imitate some of the melodies of the singer on the guitar. And there the solo guitar was born, and the falsetta was born. The falsetta is a little melodic variation that goes inside one of, the, one of the forms. So what you do when you study flamenco is first you learn the basic forms. There's probably ten very basic ones and then dozens of variations of them. And inside those forms you learn falsettas. You might learn one from one teacher, one from a record, make one up yourself. And you build up a vocabulary of these variations. Then when you play a form, you play whatever of those variations comes to mind. You don't really invent one on the spot because it has to fit exactly in these rhythms. But what you're going to play, you don't know until you play it. Uh, so the first form I'm going to play is called the tarantas. And they're all originally sung. So the guitar is kind of a, a bastardization of it. I mean, it really shouldn't, you shouldn't play it solo. People have for a long time. But really, the true flamenco comes with the singing first, the dancing second, the guitar is just the there to sustain all these things. Um, and this is a song that was sung by the miners uh, while they were working, and it's one of the more serious forms, and it also has no rhythm. Some of them have very strict rhythms, and this is more of a free, free form. Thank you. 
foundation for a lot of other flamenco which has this really cool 12 beat structure it's like you have 12 beats and the accents are the 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12 which is very unusual it doesn't exist in any other type of music and this rhythm sped up and put in other forms is, uh, is uh, in a lot of flamenco
form called the Bulerias. It's the coolest thing in flamenco. If you go to Spain and you hang out with, uh, with gypsies, basically you're just going to hear this 95% of the time. Uh, it's the fastest, the most fun, the most technically challenging of the forms. Uh, it still has that 12 beat structure, but about eight times faster than any of the other stuff I played. And it's very versatile, they can be played in all different keys. There's all sorts of lyrics that go to it. And, um, here goes, I guess.
can't undo it. <laughs> What's easy? I did good lessons.
I do have a CD um, over on the table there for sale, and uh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Rumba is one of the marginal forms of flamenco that's in 4-4 time that the Gypsy Kings then took and made it their, uh, their, their whole, uh, that's all they play is these rumbas and they, they made it flamenco, but people, the people call it flamenco but it's not really, in fact they're French, but... <laughs>